the sensation of clay when you've not touched it before on a wheel is a really interesting one and I don't think there are many contexts in which you would usually find yourself in a position with clay on your hands but it was just everything about it just sitting down taking that time to just focus on what's right in front of you I think you just kind of lose sense of time and it's just you and the wheel for, for that period time just flies and yeah that's kind of how it felt at the time My name is Melody Emmy Brunton and I am a ceramicist. I don't know what it was about pottery that intrigued me initially, what got me to the first class. I've always kind of enjoyed spaces and how they can make people feel and I guess ceramic objects can do that on a smaller scale than like, you know, a full interior architecture rehaul. I was studying interior design at the time. It was hard for me to be honest. That format of university was, yeah, a lot to, a lot to, to kind of digest. And I found that this was kind of a nice respite from it. So I was jumping around from shared studio to shared studio mm -hmm. and just using the wheels there and just honing my skills. And then I found a little um, studio in a warehouse in Marrickville and saved up for my first wheel and was throwing there and that's when things kind of really took off. The process of just sitting down, taking that time to just focus on what's right in front of you. I think you just kind of lose sense of time and it's just you and the wheel for, for that period. And there's something really, I don't know, methodic and cathartic about it. It's your hands and the clay and every impression you make on the clay it's your, your being has put it in there and I think that's what's so beautiful about it as well because every piece of ceramics is going to have a different kind of impression because of the hands that made it. I hope that people can feel the connection and the you know all the steps of the process they might not see all of that but i feel like that energy is imbued in whatever you make the idea of someone like using their favorite mug every morning and like having their coffee out of it there's something that's just so you know joyous about that When I started questioning, okay, well, what makes up clay? What makes up glazes and exploring all of that? And I was never a science or mathematical person, but then learning about, okay, well, it's sand, silica, glass that then fuses onto this clay body. And it's like, okay, well, how can I manipulate that? And just learning the chemistry of it, I think was really intriguing. And yet yeah, still learning about it and still exploring it. These are my glaze ingredients. These ones are some of the found materials. So um, this is from a local river that's just down the way and um, it had a really nice, rich um, maroon sort of color. And then this one's actually just from the backyard, a stone that I've just um, milled down into a fine powder. So I'm experimenting with those and putting them in my glazes. You never know what it's gonna look like until it comes out of the kiln and you can tweak little things and it can make a big difference. So that's kind of what got me hooked onto um, glaze chemistry. I can show you <laughs> some wood ash. So these, this is just from 
a pizza place <laughs> that was just down the road. You can use this as an ingredient in glazes and it can give off really organic sort of finishes. I think in life we try, especially as humans, we try and control so much and we want a yes, no answer, but it's actually kind of exciting to just not know and surrender and just be like, okay, well, maybe it'll turn out amazing, maybe it won't. I would like to make more kind of sculptural pieces and not necessarily just be lumped into a functional ceramicist title but yeah and I don't really know what that looks like I guess it's just kind of exploring and experimenting and seeing what comes of that curiosity in the ceramics world there's like this divide between functional and sculptural but maybe functional wear can also be sculptural at the same time and maybe we need to blur those lines a little bit I don't know if it's intrepid, but if I'm curious about something, I always want to explore it. So if it means like, oh, I'm gonna walk off the beaten path a little bit, I'm okay to do that if, it, if I can, you know, explore something that might have not been explored before. Yeah, I think there's always a curiosity that drives and this wanting to explore things a little bit deeper than maybe society or convention would have you explore into it and just peeling back those layers and uncovering more and more you're like oh well let me dive even deeper and then eight years down the track you're like oh no <laughs> I'm still doing it <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it, it, it totally is that and yeah but that I think that's what makes it so great because there's a real passion and a drive there and I feel like when I've spoken to other artists you see that in what they're doing they've just got a passion and a curiosity for it that's infectious I guess. Mm -hmm.